Hello students you are warmly welcome to my youtube channel education wmh in this video i am going to discuss a grade 7 mathematics second term test paper for the upcoming term test i invite you to subscribe my channel and watch more videos question number 1 write two equivalent fractions for 4 over 14 we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 14 divided by 2 is 7 so this is one fraction or we can multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 4 times 2 is 8 then 14 times 2 is 28 You can multiply or divide by any number. Question number two. Solve. We are given this numerical expression: ten plus five times. Then within brackets we are given twenty-four plus three. First, we have to perform the operation inside the bracket. Five multiplied by Twenty-four plus three is twenty-seven. Now we have to perform this multiplication. Ten plus five multiplied by twenty-seven. Five times seven is thirty-five. Three is remaining. Five times two ten. Ten plus three is one hundred thirty-five. Plus ten is one hundred forty-five. Then question number three. Find the value three point seven five eight multiplying by hundred. When multiplying by hundred, the decimal place point goes two places to the right side. So the answer is three hundred seventy five point eight. Question number four. The age of a father is three times the age of his daughter. The mo mother's age is five years less than the father's age. If the daughter's age is x years, construct an algebraic expression for mother's age. If the daughter's age is x, the father's age is three x. So mother's age is five years less than the father's age. So we have to subtract five from this. The algebraic expression is three x minus five. Question number five. Fill in the blanks. First, we are given this one. Six grams. Six milligrams. Then uh, we have to convert this into milligrams. One gram equal to thousand milligrams. So six grams equal to six thousand milligrams. Six thousand plus six is six thousand six milligrams. Then uh, second part. Zero point eight eight grams. We have to convert this into milligrams. Um, one gram equal to thousand milligrams. So uh, when converting amount in uh, grams to milligrams, we can multiply by thousand. If you multiply this decimal number by thousand, the decimal point goes three places to the right side. So the answer is eight hundred eighty. Eight hundred eighty milligrams. Question number six. The values of three interior angles of a triangle are forty, one hundred ten, and thirty. Uh, write the type of that triangle. Uh, this is an obtuse angle triangle, as one angle is an obtuse angle. The type is obtuse angle triangle.
then question number 7 uh, we are given to solve this simple equation um, 5x plus 7 equal to 12 we have to remove it, this plus 7 first for that we have to uh, subtract 7 from both sides then 5x equal to 12 minus 7 5x equals 5 now we can divide both sides by 5 5 and 5 can be removed x equals 5 divided by 5 is 1 um, then question number 8 Write the perimeter of a rectangle of length 63 centimeters and breadth 45 centimeters in meters and centimeters. If I draw a rectangle, uh, the length is given as 63 centimeters. Then the breadth is 45 centimeters. So, perimeter can be found by uh, adding length and breadth and multiplying it by 2. 2 times 63 plus 45. 2 multiplied by, what is the addition here? 108. Then if you multiply this by 2, uh, you get 216. This is in centimeters. Uh, now we have to uh, write it in meters and centimeters. 1 meter equal to 200 centimeters. So, uh, two hundreds are there. We can write uh, 200 as 2 meters. The remaining can be given in centimeters. 2 meters, 16 centimeters. Question number 9. Is a rhombus a regular polygon? Give reasons for your answer. In a regular polygon, uh, the all uh, sides are equal in length and all angles are equal in magnitude. So, in a rhombus, though all sides are equal in length, all angles are not equal. So, uh, rhombus is not a regular polygon. The reason is all the angles are not equal in magnitude. Question number 10. Fill in the blanks. We are given this. Uh, minus 9. Then plus. A blank is given here. This is equal to minus 2. Uh, how to find the answer for the blank here? The um, uh, answer here is given as minus 2. Uh, the magnitude is 2. To become the magnitude, uh, magnitude 2, uh, the magnitude of this number must be 7. Difference of 9 and 7 is equal to 2. Then uh, the sign of the answer is minus sign. So it, uh, become, um, it comes from this minus 9. So this must be plus 7. Question number 11. Uh, what is the relationship between the radius and the diameter of a circle? Radius is twice the diameter. That is the relationship. Question number 12. Uh, we are given this to simplify. 7x minus 3y plus 3x minus 2y plus 1. We can uh, write the like terms together here. 7x and 3x are like terms. So, 7x plus 3x. And y terms together. Minus 3y and minus 2y plus 1. 7x plus 3x is 10x. Then, minus 3y plus uh, minus 2y is minus 5y. Then, 1 is there. So, this is the final answer. Question number 13. 
set A is given as prime numbers between 20 and 30. Express the set A by writing the elements of A within curly brackets. What are the elements here? Prime numbers between uh, 20 and 30. The first prime number is 23. Then the next one is 29. Only these are prime numbers between uh, 20 and 30. Question number 14. If 10, uh, 350 milliliter of water, milliliter water bottles are filled from a vessel containing 50 liter wo of water, find the amount uh, of water left in the tank. Uh, 10, 350 milliliters should be subtracted from 50 milliliters. 50, 50 liters. 50 liters minus 350 milliliters multiplying by 10. Let's convert this um, 50 liters into milliliters. 1 liter equal to 1000 uh, milliliters. So we have to multiply this by 1000. That is 50,000. Then minus, if you multiply this by 10, we get 3500. Uh, so the answer is 46,500. This is in milliliters. We can write it as uh, 46 liters, 500 milliliters. Question number 15. Find the value of 5a squared b cubed when a equals 3 and b equals 2. We have to substitute the given values for this expression. 5a squared b cubed equal to 5 multiplied by the value of a is 3. 3 into 3 then value of b is given as 2. 2 times 2 times 2. We have to take the multiplication of these numbers. Um, here 3 times uh, 3 times 3 is 9 then 9 times 5 is 45 then here 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 then we have to multiply 45 by 8 8 times 5 is 40. 4 is remaining. 8 times 4, 32. 32 plus 4, uh, 4 is 36. The answer is 360. Question number 16. Draw one figure that obtained by uh, cutting ABCD square along AC axis and uh, mark its axis of symmetry. Uh, we get two triangles here. I will draw one tri triangle. This is A, B, C triangle. These two sides are equal in length. So this is a this is an isosceles triangle. Um, the axis of symmetry can be taken as this. Question number seventeen. Write 48 as a product of its prime factors. 48. 48 should be di uh, divided by prime numbers. The first prime is 2. 2 times 24. Again by 2. 2 times 12. Then 2 times 6. 2 times 3. Then 3 times 1. 48 can be written as. Uh, four twos are there. Two times, two times, two times, two times, three. This is the product. Question number 18. The volume of a cuboid, sha uh, cuboid shaped box is 84 cubic centimeters. If the length and breadth 
of it uh, 4 cm and 3 cm respectively find the height okay uh, i'll take the height as h then we can write the multiplication uh, the volume is equal to the multiplication of length and breadth and height so uh, length is given as 4 cm then the breadth is 3 cm and we are finding the height the volume uh, is given as 84 cubic centimeters so uh, we can find h the multiplication here is 12 12 multiplied by h is equal to 84 h equals 84 divided by 12 uh, 7 centimeters is the answer Question number 19. Find the LCM of 12, 15 uh, and 18. We can use the division method. 12, then 15, 18. Um, first we will start from 2. Uh, these two numbers are divisible by 2. The first prime number. 2 times 6. This is not divisible. Then we are writing 15. Then 2 times 9. Again we can divide by 2. 2 times 3. Then 15. 9. Now we have to divide by 3. 3 times 1. Then 5. 3. Again we can divide by 3. This is divisible by 3. 3 times 1, 5, 1. Now we can we have to divide uh, by 5. 5 times 1, 1, 1. Uh, LCM is equal to the multiplication of these numbers. LCM is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3, 12, 12 times 5 is uh, 60, 60 multiplied by 3 is 180, this is the LCM of these numbers. Question number 20, measure the angle ABC, uh, we are given, given this diagram, so we have to keep the protector and uh, measure the angle. We have to keep the protector, the midpoint of the uh, protector coinciding with B point and this baseline coinciding with uh, AD line segment. Uh, we can uh, use the protector like this. So, uh, what is the magnitude here? Mm, 124. One, uh, we, uh, we can have to uh, count from the outer circle. 10, 20, 30 like that. Then the magnitude uh, is 124. We can write ABC. ABC angle equal to 124 degrees. Uh, 